Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Akistats Video Productions is proud to welcome you to the 42nd U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. We're here in the Akistats Arena at the Sheraton Norfolk Waterside Hotel, our most gracious host now for three years in a row, and we hope for many, many more in the future. This is day number two of our seven-day event. 139 players have signed up to vie for the most prestigious crown in American pool. Before I introduce our competitors for this 12:30 match, I must take another opportunity to recognize our three signature sponsors, Aramith, Simonis, and Diamond Billiard Products, for providing us with the best equipment in the industry and for the continued support of Akistats, the U.S. Open and professional pool around the country and around the world. Thank you so much to those companies. One more set of thank yous, and then we'll introduce the players. And that thank you goes out to all of you watching. Everybody that has supported Accustats and the US Open for so long, we really appreciate you being part of our family. And that goes for all of you here that have so generously come to watch this live in person. Thank you all very, very much. We have an outstanding matchup for you. Any of these matches we've been showing you here in the TV arena, as well as some on the outer tables, could all qualify as a US Open final, and this one's no different. So let's get underway, and player number one is representing the USA. He's a 1996 US Open nine ball champion. He's represented Team USA on the Moscone Cup 10 times. He's also a former Moscone Cup MVP. Just last year, he received our sport's most highest honor by his induction into the Billiard Congress of America Hall of Fame, earmarking his legendary career. Sponsored by Andy Clothing, Andy Cloth and Universe Clothing, please welcome the one and only Rocket, Rodney Morris. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. His opponent, representing the Republic of the Philippines. This gentleman's the 2015 All Japan Open champion, and he has just recently had a runner-up finish at the Guri International Nine Ball event. He's sponsored by High Rock and by Navigator. Let's hear it for Johan Chua. All right, go ahead and lag for the break, if you would, gentlemen. Race to 11, winner breaks. At this time, it's my honor to send it to the booth to Mark Wilson and our very own Hall of Famer, Danny DiLiberto. Take it away, guys. Hello again from the Sheraton Waterside, home of the U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. This is AccuStats continuing coverage. My name is Mark Wilson, and here with me is Danny DiLiberto. We both love high-performance billiards, and if you do also, you've come to the right place. Chua, Morris, Danny, any opening thoughts? Well... I want to see Morris play a little better than he's been lately, but he's a great player. And maybe the energy from a match on the TV table might get his adrenaline going better. Left-handed power break. Great shot maker, and he plays very fast. Uh, you alluded to that earlier on. But the only thing with him, sometimes he gets real short on his final backswing and a real quick transition. And if he's struggling at all, you'll definitely see his head pop up at that point. And I've been watching him for years. He always looks like he's playing, like he's practicing. He's very loose. You can't tell he's serious, but he's a great player. And he sure breaks him pretty, pretty well. He embodies that um, you have to be able to play for everything like it means nothing type of carefree hang loose attitude. We always admire him for that. Recent Hall of Fame inductee, as Ken Schumann mentioned, Morris has won the leg. He'll be breaking from the left side of the box as he stands at the table. Six balls, the wing ball. Uh, one ball went just a little wide. I'm not even sure that's a legal break either. I don't think it is. <clears throat> We're playing the three-point rule. Looks like only two balls crossed the head string. And what that means is that Chua has the option. He can he can play from here or he can put uh, Morris back in. Uh, 
close proximity here. Even if he doesn't like the shot, he figures to play a safety. That's what he did. Very nicely, he's going to have a lot of trouble kicking at this. Yeah, this is the Chinese safety where the cue ball is right on top of the six, and we are playing all ball fouls. And he doesn't have a direct one-rail kick. You know, the five looks like it's in the way. This is ugly. I would consider taking a foul and just rubbing the four ball up near the one. You're just right. Give him ball in hand and hope he doesn't get out. This is a very tough hit. Yeah, if you can take a foul and get that one or the four up on the one, maybe you You're can right. come back to the table with a little better distribution of the balls. It won't yeah. be good, but tie up the balls before you kick. No, he's well, he's not. A. What a shot that good was! Good hit, very good hit. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be happy about it. Well, he, I don't think the one passes the four. Looks like he can cut it to the side. Very thin hit. Yeah, that makes cue ball control treacherous because the cue ball comes off of there so with so much great speed. Yeah, a tough shot like this, position is going to be tough because like Mark said, this cue ball is going to be hot. Oh, he did it with great control. Oh, he so calmed it, it down. wasn't as <laughs> great. thin as we thought because he was able to control that cue ball pretty handily. Well, he spun it too. <clears throat> that also helped cut it. Well... Yeah, he's going to have to stop right here on the two and take the cut on the three. She was another one of the great Filipino contingent that just keeps coming and coming over here. Yeah, I remember when uh, Efren came, or when the first one, and, and we used to call it the leader of the pack. Oh, oh boy. Got it a little heavy. Just what the doctor ordered for Rodney Bad Morris. Hit. Now that's an open mess, and that's what we consider to be an unforced error. Well, I think you go two rails forward. Let's see what he's going to do. Play it in the nice corner. Shot. Yeah, just play it in the corner. Nice shot. He got pretty thin. But he hit it full. Don't want to get straight in. He didn't. He just checked it up with a little bit of left English. Brought the cue ball straight down table. That's going to play perfectly. It is. Routine nine ball now. Rack number one goes to Rodney Morris. The, the, the leader of the pack of the Philippines was Jose Perica, and he was beating everybody. And someone said, oh, he's not the best player from the Philippines. I couldn't believe it. And then Efren showed up. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's, I heard there's like a hundred more <laughs> that can't afford to come here. Mm. Well, I've ventured there, and I'm here to say that is a true story. Yeah, you spend time there. Even when you go out in some of the barrios and way out in the uh, wilderness, there'd be pool rooms and there'd be players in there that could play on this tour and be effective. And guys that you've never heard of before or since. I heard it's all open air. A lot of it is, yeah. This, this is kind of their byline. <laughs> 
No air con, no air con. <laughs> I got that. 100 degrees, max humidity. All right, wreck number two, the rocket braking. Seven balls on the wing, he hit them pretty square. Three balls cross the head string. Dry break, however, so it's a legal break, just a dry break. Well, he left tough out. Yeah, very tough opening shot here for Chua. Tough shot, tough position. I think he'll just float this one ball to the corner pocket. Should he miss, just get the cue ball on the same side rail it's on now and hope to leave it tough. Very tough. Oh, he split the wicket. Wow, pretty shot. Scored there, picked up good position. So he didn't get maximum punished for the unforced missed ball last time when he lost one game because of it. Tough position now to the three. Sure is. Got obstructions going two rails. Yeah, the eight and nine right in the way. Try to thread between them. I guess you attack the nine ball two cushions if you were going to go that route. He's going around the table. Hello, six ball. Yeah, that was it. That Too was much obstruction. Anything that uh, if he could just slip past the six, he was at least going to be able to defend himself. Now he's kind of exposed. Just to look he's going to spin kick it. Yeah. Oh, this is a top hit. Oh, he's going to arc it in there. Okay, with power. Got to draw the ball. Good hit. Good shot. No reward. Now, this is where, you know, that was a tough position play because of the obstructions. It's hard for me to give him an air on that. I know, but... Uh, nonetheless, he gets one, but I'm just saying that's, he oh, made a good effort at it. What I always say, when the shot and position are tough, look to play safe. Wow, that's a great stroke right there. Sure was. Yeah, Rodney's a powerful shot maker. But he always shoots right before I'm ready to watch. He doesn't have that final paw. Oh, no, you're so right. Short. He just kind of goes off in his hand. But he's, he's certainly made it work over the years as he's earned his way into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, the Hall of Fame he made it to was right here. Looks like he's playing for a donut. <laughs> right? Yeah. A dollar or a donut. Great sense of humor, too. He's, he's a lot of fun to be around. Oh, yeah. At his induction, he talked about his career growing up and where, top area of Los Angeles. You know, he moved to Hawaii, but he spent a lot of time in Los Angeles. And he's cruising through these balls. Routine nine ball. Game number two goes to Rocket Rodney Morris. Leads the match 2-0. Rocket gives us a quick glance, make sure we're watching him. He, he likes attention. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're watching, Rodney. Yeah. Oh, you gotta love the guy. He's got the great personality. Yes, he does. But I'll tell you, like the presidency, his hair has turned gray. <laughs> yeah. It was pitch dark, but now it's got a lot of gray in it, but it's staying on his head. He'll make some of the funniest Facebook posts if you ever read his stuff. So many people today have zero sense of humor. Rodney has a great sense of humor. Yeah. 139 players began this event. U.S. Open, $1,000 entry fee, double elimination. 20 of them from foreign countries. Well, no, more than that. 20 countries represented 
there's oh, yeah, contingents yeah, from yeah, Taiwan but, and uh, yeah, there's more than one from each country, but right. it's a total of twenty countries, but not twenty players. There were seventy seven players from twenty foreign countries in wow. this event. Yeah. That means over half the field at the US Open is not from the US. And none of them are Mickey Mouse. Oh my goodness, no. This is uh I I've heard the players talking about and uh, just my observation, probably the toughest field ever assembled for any tournament. Well, Chua is gonna take advantage of ball in hand to play a killer safety here. And this is maybe uh, setting up the three foul rule. Yeah, this is going to be a tough hit. Yeah, he didn't do as well as he'd hoped. It's pretty good, though, if he can't yes. hit it. Yeah. No, he's got a kick at it. Might be better off massaying around the ball. I think kicking softly is his best bet because he can just wiggle that in there. Oh, oh. he made a good hit. Sure did. But he sold out. If he could have got the cue ball on one side of the six and the one on the other side of the six, and that's what soft would have maybe provided. It's just that when you go soft, it expands long, and that's exactly what happened there. Went just a hair too long. Efren was the master of those soft kicks like that to get that. You know, you think you have him, and then meanwhile, he's got you. But I'll tell you, over the years, most of the Filipinos are great kickers. Tough shot here. Yeah. Well, he didn't uh, lose his head. Argot needs to overcut this ball. The sixth ball would maybe help him. He does. He's looking at not whether he's going to shoot the two, but how he can play the cue ball to avoid hitting the three. I, I would go one rail behind the six. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what a nice shot that I wouldn't was. do that. He did get around the three. Help. He didn't get around the eight. No. He deserved a better fate for such he a did. tremendous shot. He did. That was shot. a great shot. Got to draw the ball. He did, but Missed not enough. Huh. Didn't draw it enough. Well, this is true. His best chance to win a game. Mm-hmm. Once again, Rodney Morris gets a uh, negative blemish on his TPA, but he made such a good shot in three, I just don't have the heart to award him a position error. What a nice layout this is. Well, Ralph Souquet, one of the rare times, a guy got him three in a row, and my girlfriend, Betty, said, I don't like that rule. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't see the three-file rule on Ralph C.K. very often. Chua cruise through this open layout. Nine balls in. And Chua picks up his first win. Trails in the match one game to two. Pretty nice Monday crowd here. The U.S. Open. Yeah. Second tournament. day. Uh, tournament will conclude Saturday night. Yeah, you know, at the end of the week, the place will be mobbed. Van Boning lost his opening round match. Nick Vandenberg last night. But he's not done. 
<laughs> he he yeah. plays good with uh, from the loser side. Yeah. He played good last night. He played, I think, about 900 or a little over. So uh, That usually wins. You get beat like that, you can't feel bad about your effort. Now you, you check up here with an 823 or something, then you can be a little like, I could have played a lot yeah. better. Yeah, if you shoot over 900, you usually win. Chua goes to the left side. We've not been productive so far early in the match from this side of the table. Five ball on the wing. Playing the one ball on the side for a lot of these guys. And he ranged in the one ball in the side pocket. Where's the two? Not going to be easy. So he'll have first chance to defend himself here. And this would be an aspect of the game that Chua figures to be a pretty strong candidate in the safety and Exchanges. Well, what safe do you like? You know, I kind of like uh, just chipping it down on the end rail and trying to use either distance or I don't know if you can control it enough to stay behind the seven. No, I don't like that because if you don't get the guy, right. you're leaving him short. Close range. I yes. would try to get two rails behind the uh, eight, five. Behind the oh okay yeah right right but he's not going that direction he's gonna do something different he felt like good control there it was he left him short but he left him also blocked so he has to he kick. is but again this is he'll kick and hit it I believe I would like to be a little meaner and and do what I said mm hmm. That's the reason. Now he whacked that in. Now he's got a billiard on the four or a combination on the four. He could bank the two. He's kind of got his way with this. I think the combination's a little better. The billiard is sort of a tough hit. Yeah, very yeah, yeah, I agree. The billiard's not really the answer, so I think it's bank or combination time. But you don't want to go past the side. Oh, yeah, you were Good right, shot. Danny. Yeah, he Good shot. That made it look fairly he, effortless. Great. He had to hit that ball full or that two would have not had a pocket. <laughs> he landed perfect, but that's not where he was playing for. But it counts. Yeah, and he's got the nice <laughs> angle to get across the table. I mean, everything. This, if he thought he could get there, he would have played for this. But this is such a remote possibility. Oh, it hit the point and kind of died. So It did die. Now, now well, what do you do? Yeah, I think he's banking you think he takes the bank here? Um, I'm not advising it. I'm just saying I think he does. Uh, well, no, no with the bank, me. position is automatic, but the bank's not automatic. No. Look outside oh, watch pocket. out. He uh, went in. Don't do it to him. Good shot. All right. Well, Chua gets a chance to tie the score. Yeah, that was really the first uh, blatant unforced error on Rodney Morris. But on a cut bank, tough to control the cue ball. It went right in the side. Right. It looked like it right away. Yep. Yeah, he made a heck of a shot, no doubt about it. But the cue ball control was iffy. The rails are a little slick. The surface of the ball is a little slick, and it went a little longer than he was really thinking. He could have, he could have used a little higher hit on the cue ball to take that scratch out of there. But then you diminish the power on the object ball, and it doesn't bank cross side as easy. You know, so um, he just went all out to make the bank. He has to pay the price. The average for an unforced error at this level is 1.3 games. Perfect control. Yeah, nice soft draw, released from the cushion. The score is now tied at two.
40 second shot clocks in effect, but neither of these players seem prone to delay the game by studying too long. John Schmidt, Johnny Archer sitting ringside. And Archer just beat him pretty badly. Be who? Didn't he beat John Schmidt? Uh, John Moore did. Oh, Johnny Moore. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. There's so many great matches. This. It's hard to even pick. Somebody said, well, who's going to be on the TV? Well, it's going to be a great match. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> we yeah, can sure. pick out five other matches going right now that could easily be on this table. Right. And if you get to the final two, you played real well. This is still opening round action. Here we go. One on the side. Four ball found the corner pocket. No, five ball found the corner pocket. Is he going to get a shot? It looks like he did. Hard to tell, though, isn't it? I don't know. I don't think he does. He's, he's examining it, but by the look on his face and the little shake of his head, he didn't get a good shot. Yeah, he has a shot. It's just that he had to power up to get over to the two. He's looking at possibly playing the bank on the two. He's checking the three now. He can roll it in. It's just that when you got to fire this in, that makes the, the uh, shot so much more difficult. Yeah, you know, the pockets are smaller if you shoot hard. With a long swing, your accuracy is diminished just even hitting the cue ball pure. So. Yeah, he looks like he has it. I'm going to try to pound this across the table. Oh, what a pretty shot. Oh, beautiful. Wow. All right. Guys, that isn't as easy as it looked. <laughs> now he's got problems getting to the three. He's going to have to go two rails. He drilled it into the heart of the pocket. Now this ball, this is one of these treacherous ones. You really got to keep your head super still here. Yeah, he's going to go two rails to the three. No, he went one rail and he got to the side. I know he didn't play that, but it counts. And I always say, whatever happens in pool, make believe you played it. The eight's still going to be a little tricky. Yeah, this rack offered a lot of challenges, but he's whittling his way through there. Well, if he gets this angle later, he can go to the eight. But it's going to be good control if he does. Yeah, he played for it, Danny. He's going to try to billiard the nine ball here as he pockets the six, opening up the eight. Seven's close to the corner pocket. Not likely he'd get hooked. Oh, the seven is not going to be a problem. It's the eight. Let's see if he can move those and still get position. Great shot. Oh, he sure was. That did it. Uh-oh. That's not so he good. He hit it rough. No, he hit the ball barely. He hit it way on the thin side of the pocket. Well, he's got a thin hit on the eight now. <laughs> he's kind of smiling like, what did I just do? I know. I'm surprised. I mean, so many good shots. He went on holiday there for a ball. This is what happens. Well, I did he overcome it? Didn't look tough. He didn't try to do anything with the cue ball, which is smart. Just play speed and make sure you make the ball. Just yeah. Trying to be cute with the cue ball and get perfect position was going to be uh, raising the difficulty level of that eight. Particularly when you've just played yourself out of line, there's a psychological drama in your it head. It is, that, it is. Yeah. If, if your opponent leaves you that shot, it's a lot easier than when you played position and did it. Oh, he didn't want to mess with the side. Boy, he hit the heart of the pocket, and that was a break and run out. So from Rodney Morris's unforced error, it's now cost two games. 
Three two is our score. Two in front. Three two two a breaky from the left side. Found the mark with the wing ball last time. Did not try to make the one on the side there. He hit a little bit thin. He's gonna snooker him. So He's got nothing. Horse is forced to push out now. Yeah. It's tough rack anyway. Look at the three. I always say when you push, tie a ball up, but they're tied up already. What do you do there, Rodney? Yeah. Good, let him have a shot. He well, he's pushed to a kick. <laughs> Much easier to play than to uh, when you're forced to. Rodney's thinking if he kicks and hits this, he can billiard into the seven. Oh, he hit it all right. Oh, excellent result. But we still got the three tied up. Yeah, this figures to be a little bit of a tactical rack here in the opening balls. You're going to end up playing position to play safe, either on the two or the three, or maybe even right away on the one. I wouldn't even object to overcutting the one and dropping, uh, dropping it from the side rail underneath the eight, let the cue ball come down table. That's probably what he's going to do. No, uh -oh. he wanted to shoot. Look uh -oh. at this shot. shot. He's going to open the balls, uh -oh. but he's not going to get rewarded. Man, he hit that good to not he get did. a shot. <laughs> Great shot. Well, I think he'll hit this kicking. Maybe he'll make the two. Truthfully, I think it might have been a hair aggressive, though. Even though he hit it good, I don't think it no, was the right, right shot. That's a good shot if you're playing two-shot rollout because then you can defend yourself in one foul ball in hand. Now you're exposed to making something happen from nothing. He's going to probably kick this power and could maybe kick it in twice. I said he might make it. Yeah. He snookered him. <laughs> wow. I don't know if he can jump this ball. Not my favorite aspect of the game either when a guy can jump this ball in. But no, I think he's got a three-railer. No, he's got a one-railer. If well, he makes it, he's going to have a shot. Really easy to spread a three-railer, too. Oh, boy, double kissed or would have gone in the hole. Yeah, you only got to make the three now, and the rest of the rack is pretty easy. He didn't make the three. Got that little jerky hitch in the transition there. That's, I think, really, that accounts for why Rodney's not great at soft speeds, but is real good at power, you know, it's, yeah. it's an oddity. Most guys are more effective at soft speeds. Well, can he cut this inside? No. 
too far past the side from where he's at to back to it. What does he do? He can't cut it at the uh, pink ball. You're going right in the side with the cue ball. Looks like he might be thinking about bearding, lightly hitting the three and rolling down, pocketing the four that way. But I don't think that's the right shot either. That's what he's trying. He's probably <laughs> happy he didn't make that. That's a tough shot for Rodney. Jacked up. Left-handed. Yeah. So the, the whole trick now is to buy yourself one more turn at the table from the safety. Well, he's got the three. Where? Past, past the seven. No, it won't go. It it won't? It's got too much of the pocket. Okay, he's let's try see. to go rail first on that. No, he's oh, playing safe. He got him behind the eight. Uh, he I'll got him. Applaud that effort. Good Beautiful. job, Rodney Moore. Excellent from where he was at to get this result. Oh, he's forced him into a kick. You still got to sweat what happens here because you know he's going to hit it. Ball might find a pocket. Might find a pocket. Wasn't pure random luck either. No, he played that. <laughs> yeah. He knows it's low percentage, but it still gives him an edge. He got the cue ball back there where it likely was safe. And, and you didn't have to worry about the four. Now you got to worry about position on the five. He's got a thin cut, but he's got it. Yeah, not that bad from where he was at starting out. Wow. Pretty he played position. all those rails. Pretty position play. That's great. Very sophisticated shot there. Perfect. Got an angle. I think you just go one rail. That's what he did. Very high standard of the play thus far. 4-2, Chua. Yeah, that was a tricky out, but he did it. And both players played well in that rack. Yeah, Chua made something happen from nothing, which is that's paramount to going a long way in a tough field like this. Moore still paying for his unforced error a couple of racks ago. So that lost three games. Mike Siegel won the very first U.S. Open, Danny, and uh, I'm going to assume that you spent a fair amount of time with him over the years, right? Yeah, we fished together a lot. <laughs> I took him fishing to the Keys, and he, he, he hooked a tarpon, started yelling like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> you mean because it was too big or too... Whoa, whoa. Because he didn't expect it. He said, oh, you can't hook one of these. They kept going by and by. And then finally he hooked one. Is that a great big fish or something? Oh, I don't know. Oh, big. It's yeah. People travel from all over the world to fish for tarpon. Huh. All right, Chua. Breaking now. One ball rim the side pocket. It's a dry I'm, break. I'm not sure it was a legal break. I guess it was. I don't know. Well, three balls went past the side. I didn't see which three. It doesn't look like there the three. There they are. Three, three six. No, the three's not past the side. It's got to touch the line. You think so? Um, I think well, it's maybe past. It did. Okay. Well, perhaps Ken was there. So anyway, we were playing the three-point rule. Clearly, it's going to be played as a legal break. 
I could easily be wrong. Uh-oh. Yeah, hit it way heavy. And he sold out. Tell us a something about Siegel's developing pool game now when you knew him as a young man. Well, he he's from Rochester, and that's where Irving Crane played. And one day, as a young man, Siegel said, I'm going to go to the pool where Crane plays. And he did, and he went up to Crane and said, can I hit him with you, Irv? And Irv said, sure. Siegel broke. And Crane ran 200 and played safe. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Irving Crane, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. She was got a nice route to get to the three. Three's not laying in the easy spot. Oh, he's going to fall on it. All right, does it go past that? Yeah, I think, it, I think it can go either way. It's just he's kind of on the 50-yard line of ideal position. Yeah, he can't stop the cue ball because he's on the cushion. Good camera work there. You can see. Beautiful. Yeah, we can see it really well. He might have to hit a rail and come back. Oh, he hit two rails. And, Boy. Wait a minute. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful shot. Really was. And the wisdom of doing that was the big part. Yep, very artistic. The year that Siegel won the U.S. Open was 1976. That was the inaugural one. I imagine you had to compete against him in some tournaments along the way as well. I did. I did. His nickname was Captain Hook. And it always seemed like under pressure, the tough shot. He oh, he was a great player. I, I'm really disappointed he's not playing anymore because he's not that old. But his temperament went. Very pure shot maker. Yeah, and very knowledgeable. But when you got a player like Crane in a town... Good players come from that area. Yeah. Like him and Larry Hubbard. And you. I was from Buffalo, though. That's the New York area. That qualifies. 50 miles away. Well, he got a little thin here. Can lose the cue ball. He might have to go three cushions. You know, he can't just roll it in. The cue ball's going too far. He's going to have to go three rails, I believe. Aiming to slightly overcut it to account for the side spin. Oh, he hit it heavy. And he's still going to get there. It's a good thing he hit it heavy. I think his speed would have been off. You're but, right. But anyway, he got perfect. This would be for a three-game lead should he complete this run. Two and now it's five. Morris two. He's a solid player, this kid. <laughs> Clearly. He's not intimidated by the uh, the day or the player. No, he came as advertised. They said he was one of the Filipino contingent, and we've certainly heard of him. First time we've seen him on the TV table. Yeah, you know, Irving Crane was a great player. I think he's the best straight pool player ever. Mm-hmm. And if you got in the safety duel with him, forget it. And Ben is shot out of the pile because you're not going to beat him. I always admired his dignity. His well, school. that's why they called him the deacon. I bond. 
the wing. One ball, just past the side pocket. Well, he made something and he's got position. Pretty nice layout here. Yeah, couldn't have put it better than the cotton will run out. But Irving Crane, his dinner table had a wood cover and they take it off and eat dinner and then they could play pool later. Did you play a fair amount of pool with Irving Crane? Luckily, not much. <laughs> I didn't beat him till he got old. <laughs> he was tough, wasn't he? Was. Yeah. One time when he was old like I am now, I was 20. I thought that was excessively old, but I happened to ambush him, and he didn't play a good game, and I did beat him a game of straight pool, which I'm not even in the same league, but anyway, it did happen. Well, and that night he came back, and just to show me who's boss, he ran 186. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. Well, when I played him, he missed the ball and kept shooting. And I say, Herb, what, you missed? He said, oh, I'm only hitting him around. No, it's a tournament, Herb. Well, that was in Rockford, right? When that no, happened? I oh. did it in uh, somewhere else, but... He did that in Rockford one time. Yeah. Dallas West had a straight pool invitational. Right. He kept shooting when he missed. Probably a lot of times people did notice, and that was part of why he got so many titles along the way. It was just kidding. Oh, boy. He almost went behind the nine. Anyway, we got the history of Crane. Now we got to concentrate on this match. Johan's carving through another rack here pretty smoothly. Not challenged. Yeah. Rodney hasn't had a chance to shoot in a while. No. Well done there. Second break and run out of the match for Chula. Six games to two his way. Morris is certainly not out of it. He's just been knocked down is all. He needs to get up to the table. Right. Grabs the cue ball, goes to his preferred side of the table to break from. This time the four ball is on the wing. Neither the wing ball nor the one ball found the pocket. Looks like it's going to be a dry break. And a snooker. Yeah. Rodney course. needs a shot badly, and he's snookered. So he's going to have to fight for an opening here. Probably has to push out again. That's, that's always distasteful when you're trailing four games and then you come to the table, you have to push out. Further be the underdog.
Good idea. Move the ball near the pocket. I think you got to give him back this. The shot and position are both tough. Mm -hmm. So you got to give it back. But you know what? He's feeling too good. I don't think he's going to get the best of it shooting here. But he wants to shoot. I got to give this back, don't you, Mark? Well, um, I guess. I don't see what he's planning to do. If he's trying to pocket the one past the five, <laughs> wow. Well, that's what the hit. thing. You made a good shot that if you missed, you could have lost, but you couldn't win from there. Right, right. Now we're going to see safeties. Just going to put the two over by the eight and let the cue ball. Now he's going to go right. all the way go down the table. one rail behind the seven, maybe. Looks like he was looking about thinning the two ball to his left as he stands there now. I like your shot. Bank it towards the eight and go behind the seven. Well, he didn't quite get him. He left a hit on the two, but not a shot. Well, Rodney, <laughs> someone's supposed to say, come on, Rodney. Try to go behind the five. Good shot. Well, he left a hit on the two. Didn't leave a shot, but he certainly can hit it. Similar shot. Bank it at the eight and try to go one rail behind the seven. No, he did it a little differently. I don't think he's going to get the best of this. He didn't think he was going to hit it that thin. He really hit that thin. Not an easy shot here, though. It's a combination. It's well off angle. Yeah, but this is the best chance Rodney's yeah. had in a while. No question. But I got to think about banking this. But I play one pocket, bank it, and you're going to the three easily, one rail. I think that's a better shot. Well, he's playing the combination and making it. Watch out, eight. Good shot. Oh, that was good. He got rewarded. That's a great shot, especially when you've been sitting a while. Yeah. Hey, he's fought himself back into this rack now. Great stroke. Great stroke. He's got a good chance to get out. Not far out of it. He'll only be three down if right. he can get out. And yeah. his break, which is potent. Oh, no. Cue ball ended up on the rail after he collided into the six, well, and that he, makes getting back up to the six. Well, at least he didn't snooker himself. That's what I <laughs> yeah. said. Oh, no. I thought he might have, but he's got a good shot. <laughs> he made something happen again. Bump and run. Position Perfect. while you wait. Right. Perfect to get to the seven. I don't think he had to draw that ball. Well, he would have liked to get fuller, but he does have a shot. Oh, I don't like when they hesitate. I'm not pulling for anybody, but I don't like to see great players play bad. Yeah, you know, I don't like when they stop. Get it? Yeah, you know, he he lost his rhythm when he stopped. I don't know, did he leave a cut? No. I think he's got a kick. Yeah, he just felt a little threatened by that. And, uh, 
He was definitely uncomfortable when he, even when he shot it. Yeah, you could tell. It was obvious. Looks like Chew is planning to try to kick this in. He's going to try to kick it in. He already kicked one of these in. No, he overcut it. Oh, he was playing the cue ball on top of the nine. Look at no, that shot. I don't think he got him, did he? I don't think he did, but it was just a great yeah, attempt is what I mean. Try, from, yeah. Because he went over and measured that beforehand. And oh, Rodney. Rodney finally won one. Scrambled through there. Trails in the match three games to six. Eight fifty five for Shua, seven eleven, Rodney Morris, our TPA. Well Shula looked like he was playing better than that. But apparently it's good enough to be way ahead. Rocket set to break four ball on the wing. This is going to be an illegal break for sure. Illegal break. Kenny called it. So now Chua can force Rodney to play from here, which is his. Which he should do. And did. Rodney's gone and got his jump cue. He made a hit. Yeah. Left it tough. He's, he's got he's, a combination. That's hard but to not easy. Yeah. He's over the top. What about rail first behind the one with the cue ball? Makes the well, you want to play easier. safe here? I don't. No, I'm saying to play the eight rather than combination. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you go rail first, the eight plays a little bit easier than jacked up. He's doing your shot. And he's doing it pretty well. That is really, really good control. Right. You gotta well, be pretty well versed to play it at that speed. Well, what do you do now? You draw it back? Or do you play for the side pocket on the two? Uh, I think that uh, he's I think gonna draw it back. down in the corner also. I think you can just stop the cue ball and just roll it down in the corner and pull it back an inch. I think like he's going to draw back. Yeah, he looks like he's queuing up. He looks like he's going rail first, Danny. Yeah, that'll get him a better angle when he comes back. Except he'll sleep in the street, too. Yeah, the rail first offered him an opportunity to free himself from the rail, but it also made the ball very missable. Especially drawing the cue ball. Look at this. The six balls there. It's easy He's cutting crash. this in. Oh, no, he isn't. No, he had oh, he didn't get safe. him either. But he didn't sell out. He he left a hit, but he didn't sell a shot. I don't think. Is he going to try to cut this down the corner? He looked at it. The thing about it, if you don't make it, you got a lot of balls to snooker him with. I wouldn't play it. He did. I, I don't like that shot. Except he played safe. <laughs> oh, wow. That he got good. very lucky. People are. Funny. I don't clap in that, people. Rodney tried to make something happen. Didn't have much there. He just powered up. See if he well, gets... he didn't sell out. I think he can hit the edge of the one and go back distance, maybe around where he is. He 
Yeah, I'll cut it thin and leave distance. He's kicking. No, he isn't. Make up your mind. Yes, he's kicking. And he looks at playing it off the fire, possibly. No, well, he was, left a shot. That okay, was a shot Rodney. by design, though. He was playing a shot on the one. That was interesting. I like the tape. Yeah, I don't think he could hit the edge, though, is the reason why. Yeah, I thought he could, but from here it's easier. Exactly, yeah. He's down there. He can definitely see it, so... He got good. Watch out. He snookered. No, he is. <laughs> I just don't want to see anybody get a bad roll. Now, Rodney's scrambling, but that is his game, so don't be alarmed. <laughs> See it. Well, he'll only be two games behind with him breaking. I don't know if he can hit this full enough to control it. Or, I, or maybe you got to play the five in the corner if it goes past. Yeah, you know, I think it's too thin to control it that way. I think you got to draw it and shoot it in the corner. Like that, maybe. Oh, good oh, shot. Oh, he got to the side. Perfect speed. And he got an angle to get to the six. One rail to the seven in the side. Perfect. And the 1996 U.S. Open champion showing some fight here. He now trails six games to four. And we have a match here, folks. Well, Rodney needs to do something with the break. Join a couple racks. Mm-hmm. And I'm not pulling for anybody. I just like good players not get unlucky. The rocket has a little sip of water. And now's the time for his break to come from, uh, forward. You yes. mentioned it a few times in the past. He's gone with the cut break. Now he's switched sides of the table, breaking from the right side of the break well, box. He hasn't got the bandage breaking the other way. No, one fall found the side. Where are you, two? Something else went in the pocket. Oh, he's right? got the Three, two. Three, six. Yeah, he made two balls. Three, six, seven. Yeah. It's a good thing, too. Otherwise, it would have been an illegal break. Got a shot on the two. In the corner. Nice Good shot. shot. Beautiful. Good shot. Well, he's got some work to do to get to the four now. Yeah, they're not going easy for him. He's shaking his head because he knows it could have got better. He's going to play it in the pocket to his left. I think he can control this. So does he. Perfect. Yeah, he let the cue ball go on the rail. Now oh, he's going to no. really power up. Yeah, he's get not going to be able to get to the five. I don't think he can bank this. Sometimes well, when you're straight in, you can bank it and go to the five, but I don't think he can do that. But he's got the stroke. Shot. He's got the stroke. He needs to get uh, it on not up here quite. foot. Not quite. Uh, pretty thin. Yeah, I don't like this part. 
Another foot would have really been handy on that shot. It seems like they're not laying real good for him when he does get a shot. Mm -hmm. It's work. Well, if he gets out here, oh, he cut it beautifully. Oh, what a shot. Huh. Yes. I have to applaud that. He almost overcut it, but it's a beautiful shot. He did. Shot. He hit it good. That was a great shot, especially yeah. when you're behind and struggling. He does not belabor this one. Long branch. Tough shot here. Not for him. Good shot. It was. Now he cinches wow. the eight and shoots the nine in the side. Great. So it's never a bad time for a break and run out, but this is a really good one. Yeah. There's, There's only, only one behind. Yeah. Morris now has five games. Chewing knows he's in the match. And the fans who've seen great play now for years in this area appreciate that run out and let them know what is, with the applause. No, there's a lot of challenging shots in that rack, a lot of iffy plays. We get so spoiled getting to watch great player after great yeah. player, don't we? I mean, seriously, what an opportunity. Yeah, I sincerely appreciate getting to sit here with you, Danny, and getting to bring Vice coverage first, to everybody. Mark. We've done a lot of matches together now. Huh? I don't know. I don't know how many more I'm going to do. I'm 83 almost. That's unbelievable. Well, made he ball. made a ball. Where are you? Break, the ones oh, don't the get way. this. Oh, he uh, got snookered. Boy, oh, boy. Ugly. Yeah, he's <laughs> grimacing as if to say. Oh, yeah, he had hideous. a nice out if that he, didn't happen. Yeah, yeah it certainly had a chance. But he's fighting. Even the last track, he, he broke and ran out, but it was it the was first tricky. opening three or four shots. And then the position, the thin cut. It was not a road map unless you're on a <laughs> rocky road. Had to push out yet again. That's the third time in the match poor Rodney Morris had to push out. That's yeah. not that much fun. I think you go behind the seven here. I don't give it back. Cut the one and try to go behind the seven. No, he's doing something different than that. Yeah, much different. It's a great effect, though. Yeah, very effective. And people appreciate it. Yeah, that was a great effort. Well, Rodney's going to be kicking. Yeah, and this is not an easy kick. You can't really play this. This is just one of these you just go with speed and try to hit it. You, it's not a shot to be played. Oh, I either. don't know. Good hit. But didn't get rewarded. I think he's got the one in the side. Rolling in, you got the two. You might get the angle on the two to get to the three. Well, I don't know, maybe the point's in the way a little. If not, he's going to have a perfect angle on the two. He did. Yeah, productive shot there. Got the cue ball work close. He can get to the bottom of the ball. Yeah, he'll go two rails to the middle of the table now. Maybe draw the ball. Yeah, it looks like draw is the option. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong. The nine's not in the way. I guess the nine is in the way. He is drawing. Nice speed. Got good. 
Looks like the six goes in the same pocket if he can get there. Yeah. Does he have the angle to do that? Looks like he might. Draw the ball a little bit. Play the six in the same pocket. And he's got an angle now to go two rails, I believe, to the seven. Good shot. Yeah, good speed control. And he's got the angle to go to the eight. And he shot that hard to have the angle from the, to get from the eight to the nine. Yeah. Which he did. Gonna drag the cue ball down table, looks like, rather than go yeah. across the two cushions. Right, he don't have to hit rails. Pretty good. Real good. Chua, seven, Morris, five. Yeah, two games ahead again. Ken Schumann racking the balls using the AccuRack template. And the white gloves so you don't put a little grease on the balls. Do you like the racking templates, Danny? Yeah, because it's it gives everybody the same break. You know, with the hands, years ago, they'd say, the guy put the rack on me, and you know? mm -hmm. can't say that anymore. No. Because the balls are in the same place every time. Yeah, the negative part of it is getting it back off the table after the break, but the good part of it is the neutrality of the uh, racks that you're issued. One ball found the side, legal break. Where's the two ball going? It's going. Oh, it hung up. Oh, I think break. he can hit it. Yeah, oh yeah. It's got a thin cut, but you need a little angle. It's pretty deep get inside to the, the tree. Draws. It I is, think, yeah. I think he can maybe slow roll this with a little bit of left and get the cue ball at least back to the center of the table, which would be good enough. Oh, right. You can't get too good on this ball right. because the nine is in the way. Camera there, Aramith Duramith balls. The nine is in the way. Wow, like a magnet. <laughs> nine got him, I think. Yeah, clearly. Jumping? Oh, I don't jump here. I kick. I kick. You got just as good a chance to make this kicking as jumping. Don't you agree, Mark? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to kick it. But yeah. Some of these guys are so darn good with the jump cue, though. I, I don't have that ability, so maybe it's different if I did. 
Well, he yeah, had no problem you at see all. What I'm saying, you know, I'm not. I wouldn't have made it, so I'd be better off kicking and make more of them. But he seemed to make that effortlessly, almost like it was straight in. And he got control, and got position. Yeah, he. That's he the thing position. about jumping. You might not get position, well, but he, he did. He got perfect. He even played it. You know, it's not even just like random chance. And he was totally comfortable with the entire all the aspects of that shot. Now what? Can you hit it full enough to just go one rail, or do you have to go towards the seven? I think, well, I think he can just drag it back to the side, you know, out just to the center. He doesn't have to do anything. I don't think he's going to get all the way back. Yeah. Perfect. Just take this. Perfect. Perfect in the sense that that was was readily available, and he got where he can get his bridge hand down, handle the cue ball well. So. And it doesn't matter where you get on the seven; you can get to the eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just wants to get back around center of the table here, a little low left. Earlier in the match, he hit this too heavy because he didn't account for enough squirt. In fact, it was the first rack. This time, he hit it pretty Perfect. pure. He got good. Gonna have to draw it straight back. Yeah, now. he's a little straight here, which means you, you know, rather than try to be cute, a lot of times you try to overdraw it and go all the way to the end rail and bounce back. I out. think you got a slight angle, and it's the right angle. If that's the case, then yeah, that, then you just come yeah. back three or four feet is good. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. Speed will give you a little better angle. Good call, Danny. No, he didn't get any too close. He could have gone just a hair further. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, you couldn't really overshoot that, but he undershot it. Now he's still got work. Yeah, the issue is, do you slow roll it? Do you apply side spin to control the cue ball, or do you just go try to go up and down? I think he's going to go low left here. Watch outside pocket if you do that. No, he's going to be able to pinch it enough. It's going to hit Let's right see. as the second diamond. No, up and down. He missed uh -huh. the eight. All Rodney right. don't, doesn't mind. Wow. I know he didn't draw the ball well enough on the seven. Yeah, that's where he made his mistake. It wasn't the missed ball here. Super tough shot. Well, Rodney's still in the match. He'll be one game behind and breaking. Rodney Morris trails 7-8. Yeah, he's still standing. Yeah. It hasn't been a great, great match, but it's competitive. And the people are interested. Yeah, the TPAs reflect the style of play here. 8-10, 8-31 30, for Chua. Just a little below the pro standard. Okay, the rocket breaking now. One ball didn't find the mark. It's going to be a legal break. No, nothing. Dry break. Rodney's dry break aspirated. and a sellout. Well, he's had to push out three times. Now a dry break, you know, maybe an unforced error or two, and that's how we got here. Rodney feels like he's won all his games and part of Chula's games. Well, Kachula hit this full enough to control it because the seven's in the way. He tries to do something else. The whole rack is falling on the two here.
Very um, nice. Comfortably executed. Yeah, but he didn't get real good on no, it, too. No, but I'm just saying, you know, for but what he, he started with, not, not that bad of a result. No, I think he can go one rail. Oh, I don't know. It's tricky. You don't want to hit that four ball. You don't want to hit that four, and he didn't make the ball. Oh, Rodney likes this. Pull on the three, Rodney. Good shot there. Perfect speed. That was one of those in-between strokes because Beautiful. he had the, the mass of the cue ball going the wrong direction. Then you had to apply the exact right amount of backspin and side spin to get here. Yeah, yeah, no problems here. Artistically played. He made it look deceptively easy. It was not. Go one rail and play the five and in the side like this ball. No, he went to the corner, which was good. That gets you to the six better. But now you got to get off the rail. This angle looks like rail angle. You want to bounce a little. He did. Rodney's working hard here. Great powerful, stroke. Powerful stroke, yeah. Well, he's going to have to. Well, does he have an angle to go two rounds <laughs> forward? He's got a little straight, I could tell by his body language. I <laughs> think he's got enough angle to go two rails. No, he didn't. Good decision, though, because that was conservative. That was what was there. And a little funny angle here. Contortion bridge. <laughs> you got to back cut this ball. That makes this imminently missable. If it doesn't just lodge up on the rail, he's in pretty good shape, but. Good hit. Very good. Pure. People the, love that. Well, yeah, we're the nine ball away is all from being all tied up here. Seven, seven. If you don't like this, there's something wrong with you. Now it's a race to four, guys. <laughs> yeah, the, the rocket withstood quite a barrage from Chua. The early phase of the match. Rodney Morris hanging loose. Okay. One ball found the mark. It's With legal the two break. Balls gone. Gonna have a shot of the three. Not an easy shot, but a makeable shot. And position goes with it if you make it. <laughs> yeah, Rodney recognizes a little thin. That's so much better than pushing out, though. Takes a look at possibly banking it straight back just because it offers some safety play, but I think he's going to go with the cut. He did. Well, he don't need to hit any balls, and he didn't. Did he get by the seven? Oh, yep. yeah. Good shot there. Perfect speed. That yeah, deserves some applause. Yeah. Great shot. Now he can go one rail to the six.
nicely. In an angle to get close to the seven. A rocket. Perfect. This Perfect. would be a great break and run out here to take the lead. Perfect position. Very routine nine ball now. Rodney Morris has the lead, eight games to seven. First lead he's had since the third rack. His TPA is climbing now, just over the uh, pro standard of 850. He's at 853. Okay, here we go. Eight ball on the wing, one ball on the head. One ball found the mark. Legal break. He's willing the two ball to line up favorably. Which he did. did. Okay. Here we go. We have liftoff. I think you go three rails to the three here. Got to miss the uh, five going through at a four. He didn't. That's going to be a little bit of a difference. Four was sort of in the path. Nothing easy here. Missed the seven, one rail, then go two. Wow. He's a he, little heavy. He was a side shake of his head. And he didn't try to get straight on the on this ball. He took whatever he's got. Since that other ball and take the shot here, he's going to play the five in the side. Where are you? Double kissed. Pretty I good. Think, yeah. This is probably as good as it was ever going to turn out. It turned out great. Yeah. That was the important shot right there, and now everything else lays out there just about ideal. Good shot. Well, this has been a real convenient time to come up with a couple break and run outs here after you and tied the score. Morris now has nine. She was seven. Champion players are so tough. Even when you get ahead of them, you have to put them away. I mean, you you know that they're going to make a mountain of charge at some point. Especially with a break like Rodney's got, you're never secure. But he seems to have found the sweet spot. The one ball's ranged in on the side pocket the last couple times, and he's been getting a shot at the two. And he's put the racks away cleanly thereafter. Rack 
Eight ball on the wing again. One it ball went. went long. Eight ball went in. Where are you, one? Well, got a convenient little chip on the one to stop progress. So he got the cue ball fairly close. It's not easy. The Ken Schumann declared it an illegal break. Yes. That's what's happened. Or not happened. Rodney seems to think that it was a legal break. Uh, Rodney saying it's his shot. Ken's agreeing. Okay. Well, you can shoot this in the far corner and you'll have position. Be a big shot here. Gotta roll it in. If you miss it, you figure to snooker the guy, but you don't want to do that. Oh, he doesn't want to miss anything. No, roll it in. You're gonna have position. Oh, I think he hit it perfect. Oh, he what did. a shot. <laughs> Rodney he hopped did. around to get rid of some nerves. He did a couple bounces. I no, don't blame him. He knows that was a big shot. It was. But like I said, if you miss it, you might have snookered him. But, you know, he didn't want to miss for sure. And he clearly he, is uh, he's gonna have the to fives come back a little bit now. in the action here. So. Trying to dig down a draw. Good shot. Yeah, he's got the angle to go one rail to the four. You think he'll go around the six here, or how does he go I about think it? one rail. Oh, he, he's got enough to come across. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think he does. Oh, man, what a shot that was. One rail, Did beautiful. Did he go too far? Oh, now he's tricky. Yeah, got a back cut. Now he's tricky. The nine enters. A lot oh, of he, things enter here. Well, I think you can go three rails and play the five in the same pocket as the four. Got to miss the seven. Get a good. What he did. Pretty shot. Good shot, Rodney Morris. Now on a protracted run here. He tied it at seven, and then he's broken ran the last two games plus. Still counting. Good shot. Clearly looks loose now. Boy, these three balls are huge because that would put him on the hill and still shooting. Slow down, cue ball. I think he's golden. He's great. Play the nine inside. One rail. Oh, I don't know. He got there. You're going to know. Yeah, you're going to like this <laughs> <He> got, shot. <laughs> I thought he didn't have to hit rails. Uh. But he did because he want, he could cinch the ball. A fourth breaking run out for the match by Rodney Morris. He now puts himself within one game of the finish line. He leads the match 10 games to seven. Been quite a while since Chu has been to the table. Yeah, he's hoping he comes to the table again. Great stuff here, the U.S. Open. It is. Rodney came with a great rush here. Yeah, he was down four games at one point. But he didn't give up. Fought and clawed. Puts a lot of pressure on Chua also. See, Rodney yeah. shot that shot and went two rails because he feels more confident shooting with a little speed. To get position on the nine. Right. Okay, so right. what Danny's saying, he went two rails. He says the third rail doesn't count. It was actually three yeah. rails. But anyway, we get your point. Yeah, he felt confident to let his stroke out. He certainly felt nice on the nine. The rocket, Rodney Morris. <laughs> Last one this event, 1996. He's smiling, feeling good. <laughs> He's having fun. That's a legal break. I didn't see if anything went in, Danny. Oh, yeah, once something did go in, it the did, side yeah. pocket's got a ball on it. And he oh, got position. Oh, shot, too. 
people are clapping because they know the end is near. I think you just got to go one rail to the middle of the table. Well, look at this layout. I mean, this is perfect. Yeah. Pull on the two and it should be over. He got a little bit the wrong angle. Well, yep. now the seven enters. <laughs> you got to go short. And I think he's going to come two rows go short. seven and nine. No, be not even hitting it. Yep. Beautiful. Perfect shot. Oh, look at this. Yeah, six plays nice. Oh, the people are going to love this finish. Yeah, four and out. Well, Chula right now knows he's dead. He feels it. Yeah. It's a bad feeling. You know, when you think you had the match in your hand and the opponent comes with a, a rush like this. A barrage. Yeah, this makes that 900-mile trip that I drove well worth it. Two balls away from the match. This will be match ball here for Rodney Morris. We're going to hear some howling here. High break and run outs in the match for Rodney Morris to come from behind. And, you know, you can kind of see at the turning point when it got 7-7, Rodney kind of his chest puffed out. Like, I think I can do this now after withstanding in a barrage from Chua. Very enjoyable match. So for all of us at AccuStats, thank you for coming along on another great rendition of World Class Pool. We hope to have you back shortly. So long for just a while.